What is overcoat watermarking? Overcoat watermarking is a way to instruct your citizen or DMP printer to specify glossy and matte areas of your print. The most obvious use is to use this feature to watermark your prints with logos, event, or branding information. With a little imagination, you can do more with overcoat watermarking and create something truly unique. Best of all, you can use this feature with any imaging software. The idea is simple. Overcoat watermarking uses a black and white image template to know which parts of your image will remain glossy and which will be matte. Any portions of the template image that are white will be glossy. Portions that are black will be matte. For best results, always try to contrast large areas of gloss or matte against its opposite. While you can attempt to specify small detail, the contrast becomes difficult to see. To use overcoat watermarking, you'll need one of the following printers, a DNP DS620, DS820, or QW410. Citizen printers include the CX02, the CX02W, or the CZ01. Part of this tutorial will require connecting to the Aircast Pro network share volume. If you are unfamiliar with this feature, please see our video, Aircast Pro 2 Hot Folder Printing, which gives detailed instruction on how to connect to the Aircast Pro network share volume with iOS, Macintosh, and Windows systems. Each example template will be created with Adobe Photoshop, though you can use any image editor you wish. Example 1, a glossy logo with a matte background. In this example, we want to make the circular Aircast Pro 2 logo glossy and the background flat. To do this, we need to isolate the circular logo. Once isolated, use the outline to create a white circle on another layer. Next, create an empty layer and fill it with black. The last step is to save the image as a JPEG file and place it in the watermark folder located on the Aircast Pro network share volume. After the JPEG template is copied into the watermark folder on the Aircast Pro network share volume, use a web browser to connect to the Aircast Pro general settings page. Select your printer from the printer list box and click the edit button. From the options pop-up, select overcoat pattern. From the value pop-up, select partial matte fine. A watermark pop-up should appear below the value pop-up. From the watermark pop-up, select your watermark template JPEG. Save your changes. In this photo strip example, we want to make the photo panels black and the photo frame white. We will start by selecting the shape of the photo frame and fill it with white on a separate layer. Next, select the photo panels and fill them with black on another layer. As with the first example, save the image as a JPEG file and place it in the watermark folder located on the Aircast Pro network share volume. Again, you'll need a web browser to connect to the Aircast Pro general settings page. Select your printer from the printer list box and click the edit button. From the options pop-up, select overcoat pattern. From the value pop-up, select partial matte fine. A watermark pop-up should appear below the value pop-up. From the watermark pop-up, select your watermark template JPEG. Save your changes. You should now have a pretty good idea of how to use overcoat watermarking for your own events. Experiment and get creative.